Hello legendary viewers and welcome back to the ultimate better Minecraft survival series. I realize that in the past 200 days we didn't do a lot of building, but today that's going to change. Because we need to get another build going and it's time to build an auto smelter for our villagers. We will move our armorers over to the new auto smelter when we are done and unfortunately all of these blocks will have to move because this is where we're going to build it so let me get started move some of these blocks and lay out the plans for this auto smelter So I think a good spot for us to build this new building of ours will be right about here. So as per the previous build that I've done, I'm going to start with laying out the floor plan first. Now in this build I want to have a little bit of a lava farm, if you can call it that. Not too big, but big enough for us to fuel our auto furnace setup so i think something like this will be probably good enough nine by seven i think that's something we would be able to work with now for the floor since we are going to be working with lava we're going to have to make sure that we can't set anything on fire and for that i'm just going to use some of these fancy dirt blocks that we've already got in our chests so i'm thinking we can do something like that i don't know use the different blocks sort of in a grid pattern and we'll see what that looks like i really do like these dirt blocks they look really really nice and at least i know they will not be able to catch on fire so that will make it a safe block to use now I do need to think of what I'm going to use for the walls because using wood like we did with this building over here is definitely not going to work so we need to think about what is our options now I would like to use stone and stone bricks but our supply of cobblestone isn't all that much but let's get some of it in here to smelt in the furnaces and we will see how far we can get So this is starting to look like something that can work for us. But now I have collected a little bit of stone. So let's see what we can make with that. How about we use some stone brick walls to fill in. I think that can work perfectly wow 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 so before we go any further i think it's a good idea to get our furnaces set up and into the building just so that we can make sure our building is high enough so let me see how I'm going to do that. I definitely didn't think this through, but I think if we do something like this, we can get our setup in here. And just to make it look nice, we will continue 
with the floor. So we've got the furnaces, we've got the hoppers taking the output into chests. Now we need to have a way to load fuel into the furnaces and to get our raw materials in there. So for the fuel, the fuel should be going into the back and the raw materials can come in from the top. I believe that is the way furnaces work. So I believe this setup will work for what we've got in mind. We can test it. So bring the cobblestone in there. It should fill up the chests. And if we don't have any more cobblestone. <laughs> That's sad. Now let me quickly go and get some lava so that we can start fueling these furnaces. And that's working perfectly. Now we can start tidying up. But before we do, we need to make the space where we're going to put the lava farm section which will be a small section but just as important if not more important we had to be blessed with snow but that won't stop us we can continue our work because to be honest who really is afraid of a little bit of snow And then we run into a different kind of problem. Since we don't have any cobblestone left, we're going to have to make a plan to go and find some. Unless... Wow, oh, we can't even take any out of the furnaces. Well... Let's let's take the little bit of cobble that is in there. How are we going to do this? Ah, perfect. I think this is literally perfect. Now we can just fill in these walls a little bit, like so. These ones can be open, just a tiny bit. But we're going to have another problem because we don't have cobblestone. Hmm. Maybe we can just use a little bit of this cold scales just to get this part filled in so that we can 
get ready to place windows in this little area. I don't know whether with the windows will connect, but we are just going to have to wait and find out. The next thing I would like to get done is to add this little section here where we are going to have the lava. And that's another thing. <laughs> Our iron is so low we might not have enough to finish this. But let me go and get some of the iron turned into cauldrons so that we can get this thing built so that it can start working because otherwise we are going to run out of lava as you can see our lava lake is getting drained so that's one of the reasons why i need to get an automated renewable lava source set up so i've got the materials let me go and see if I can install it and then we will have to see whether it works. So the way I think this has to work, we put the cauldrons down here, we get the dripstone blocks up there and we place the dripstone like so. Then if we place the lava up there, it should start dripping into the cauldrons and eventually with time fill them up. So let's see if we can find some glass before this gets filled up with water so that we can get this thing working. Do I still have any glass? Who knows? Unfortunately doesn't seem that way. Now where could I have put the glass? No glass? Oh my, that seems to be another problem that we're gonna have to deal with. So if we put the glass up here that should prevent any of the lava spilling out but now I'm not sure how we are going to keep the lava from spreading onto the surrounding forest and that's definitely something we don't want so let me see if I can quickly grab a few pieces of cobblestone just to be able to cover up the lava then we can just take a bucket of lava or three and we can go up and get the lava in there one two and three and then before something bad happens, let's just cover up the lava because otherwise it could have disastrous consequences. Now, I don't know if this is going to be enough to prevent the fire from spreading, but let's hope for the best. And as you can see, now lava is slowly dripping into the cauldrons and eventually they should fill up. So just before the sun totally disappears on us, I want to go and get a few ash piles to put in these furnaces because I really want to start building with ash blocks. The roof of this building is going to be built with ash bricks but before we can do that we need to get some ash smelted up so let me go and get those and then it will probably time to take a nap get some lava buckets 
back into the fuel chest and get some ash into the smeltables and there you go now before we can go on to the next part of the building I need to get a tiny little bit more of cobblestone but I think since we've got this vein mining on our pickaxe that should be quite easy almost two stacks I think that will do for now now since our furnace setup is right here I'm going to put another section in on this wall but before we do that I am thinking let's just quickly fill in this area which I ultimately didn't need to open up so boom boom the same on this side boom boom and that looks better now next up we can just get this section of wall sorted oh much better then we are going to fill in these sides as well just to make it look a little bit better now we can fill in this area with walls but these areas are going to be windows now if we do this I'm going to need some torches just to get some light behind these furnaces so that nothing unholy can spawn back here I don't know honestly but we can do this and we can do that so then we'll have space where we would like to put the glass this are going to be nice big windows I hope the idea with the windows is going to work as you can see our ash bricks has been melting up quite sufficiently and what I want to do with the roof is try to use some of these ash bricks now putting four of the ash bricks together gives you um, this ash brick block and we can make stairs with those and walls as well but the stairs are the most important part because we definitely want to make the roof out of this now how it's going to look is maybe a different situation but we will see what we will see when we see that the main thing is that I'm pretty sure the ash bricks wouldn't be able to catch fire again after they've been smelted up and would you have a look at this we've got two cauldrons full of lava already so that is good progress I think so let's take our buckets and empty them out so that they can just fill up again and we will place the buckets in our fuel chest back here so for now we're only going to use one side of the furnaces but when we have more stuff to smelt we'll definitely be able to use the second side as well so let's quickly get some ash bricks and we will take half of them to make stairs so that we can see what this is going to look like now on 
second thoughts, maybe it would be a better idea to change the door to this part right here so that we can walk right into the lava farm area. And I think this will just be a little bit more symmetrical. This is going to be a very nice little entranceway, but it seems that the sun has disappeared on us again. And that would mean that it is time to have a little shut eye. Oops. I built this on the wrong side again. That's so silly of me. But at least it's an easy fix. There you go. Beautiful. Now we need to get up there to the roof so that we can see if my plan is going to work. Let's see how that looks. I think I can work with that. But maybe just do a little bit of this to shape it up a little bit. That, I think, will be perfect. But we're going to need more ash. And let's see how this looks from a distance. I think I can live with that. That looks quite okay. With the walls up there, I think it just gives it a little bit of extra height, which is perfect for this building. So it seems that the ash is taking a long time to get processed. So I'm thinking maybe we can start putting some ash in the other side of the furnaces just to get a little more action out of it. Ah, and more lava. That's wonderful. Double the speed. That's always nice. Now while we wait for that to process, I was thinking for the windows I believe these will work perfectly. I think that's looking very impressive. And with the windows having the bars, you can still see outside pretty well. So no problems there. Well, th so this is going to be what it is going to be. But I think I like it. Just waiting for more ash to smelt up. And while I do that, I think it let me go down into the hole and dig some more. So it seems that the ash bricks has been smelting along nicely. So we can make some more progress on the roof up there. But first I did get some torches from my backpack. 
and I would like to just light this up so that we can close off this area in here. Now I am thinking we can just use some of these dirt bricks to just close that off a little bit and then we can use the walls right here. Now I think this will be fine because we will close up that area up there in a different way which I'm still thinking of but we need to be able to access these chests because that is the storage for our fuel but now that we've got the ash bricks we can just use them to make a stack of ash bricks and maybe a little bit more we can convert some of them into stairs and then we can go back up on the roof to see if we can get a little more, more progress So one of my main concerns is that we simply are not going to have enough of these ash bricks. Now they are really easy to come by, but they are a little bit of a pain to get as well. So we're going to have to see how far we can get, and then eventually we will need to go and collect some more. Now I am afraid that our ash might simply not be enough. But I have a theory. And I would like to test it out. So let's see if we can easily get more ash. So the theory is that if we do this we plant a few trees and just bone mill them how come the tree doesn't want to grow let's try again plant some trees Get more bone meal, bone meal them. Hmm. 
then if we put a lava bucket very close to the trees the lava should set the trees on fire and that should work for burning down the trees and getting some ash Is this going to work? I'm not sure. But let's just do this and... We will come and have a look if it does work or not. Hopefully it does. It should by all means set the trees on fire. Am I seeing flames? No. Nothing yet. But while we wait for that to happen, let's see if we can make a little more progress on our roof. And to be honest, I think we are going to be short, but not that short. And it doesn't look like the trees want to go up in flames but that's all right i've got another solution if the lava doesn't want to play along i did make a new flint and steel and oh no there's flames there's flames people there's flames the trees are burning and can you see there is a pile of ash already this might just work out fine. Oh yes. Looks like the flames are going all the way to the top. Just as I wanted it to. But this is going to take a lot of bone meal if I want to keep bone mealing the trees. Oh, what a beautiful sight. So here's how we'll do it. We'll take away the lava and then plant a few trees. Then as soon as the trees grow up, we will just come and place down some lava and when all of that is done we can just come and collect the ash that has fallen now these logs that's not burning because they have a little bit of ash on top of them might be a little bit of a problem but not all that much. We can easily just take them down, replant some trees and get the cycle started again. Now I don't know, it doesn't seem that the saplings are burning, which is a good thing because that will mean we can plant the trees without removing the lava. Just waiting for that one log to finish burning. Then we can collect the ash and see how much we got. How long does a log take to burn? Seems to be taking a very, very long time. But in the meantime, just to make sure we don't lose any ash in the lava, 
let's just collect this lava. And why not collect the ash? Almost a stack. That's only giving us 16 bricks. Which isn't gonna get us very far, to be honest. That's taking too long. Let's just get rid of it. We will replant. And let's go on with building while... We wait for the trees to grow and burn. Because if not, why not? No, no, no. I'm not patient like that. I'm really tired of waiting. So, let's set fire to the forest. And just try and manage it so that we don't burn down our village tired of waiting I can't keep waiting like this we can always replant these trees but I cannot continue waiting ah forest fire and now now that I set fire to the forest now these trees wants to burn down. Typical. So let's just hope the fire doesn't spread close to our buildings. And if it does, we're gonna have to deal with it. At least this one shouldn't be able to burn, but that one, we just need to keep an eye out on that one. Because of there... So any fire getting close to that, we might be in trouble. But while we are waiting for the forest to burn down, I would like to start fixing the inside of this build. But I really can't do much until we have the bricks to finish the roof ah so this looks like we got a little bit of ash let's see how far we can get with it but I will need to take down these tree stumps So by my calculations, I need about half a stack more to finish this roof and be done with it. So let's go see how the smelting is going. Is this it? Are we finally done with this roof? I believe so. Definitely not my favorite roof that I've ever built, but done is done. I'm so over this. Using ash bricks was definitely one of the less popular choices I've ever made. But I think it looks pretty good. So now we can just finish by filling in these side walls and just get the roof closed in and I think this is looking good enough for our purposes 
This is a nice solid build and it will definitely not catch fire. Now I think I can just round off these corners here because they do look a little bit off if I don't put the stairs in there. And then I think it looks pretty good and we will be able to work with it. Now before we go and decorate this place, I feel the need to go and explore a little bit further because this bolt has taken a lot out of me and I really, really feel the need to explore just a tiny little bit. So as we are standing in front of this building, I would like to thank all of you for watching this little build project. Thank you for sitting through it with me and I hope that you have enjoyed it. If you did, remember to subscribe to the channel for further video updates and if you feel like it, just hit the like button so that I know somebody at least liked the progress that we've made. So up next, we will go and explore a little bit and then with the exploration, I am looking for decorative blocks that we could use to improve the look of our little area and then after that I think we might just come in and do a little bit of decoration. But thank you for joining me and I hope to see you again soon and you should have a lovely day. See you next time. Goodbye.